we are going to read the scriptures. Let's open the Bible. Today I want to talk about doubt. Just write doubt. Doubt, yes. Doubt. Why I want to talk about doubt? Because there are two types. Self-doubt. Self-doubt. Two types of self-doubt. It shows that doubt is not from outside. It's from God, God is always the same. The same who spoke the same word. But it's what is inside us that comes out. That really affects or limits us. Are you hearing that? So, self doubt, this issue of idea. Doubting your idea. Number two is identity. Doubting your identity. If we say you are going to be a president, you look at your identity. Because you identify yourself somewhere. You doubt you cannot be that. Doubt itself. I want to define doubt so that you understand what I'm going to preach. Doubt is a natural belief. Doubt is a natural belief. It's not different with faith. It's that your faith is only natural. You cannot see beyond your naked eyes. 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 Cannot be unbelief. Unbelief is worse. Listen to this. There is fear. That's the first thing. I'm talking about the levels. The things of the spirit. There is fear. Which is related to the people who are not Christians. Which is related to the people who are not Christians. Number two, this unbelief. Are you reading that? Amen. This unbelief. Which is referred to the stones. Even if we preach because already they are wrongly wired. Even if we preach to you. But already because there is something that was preached to you before. You can't take what we are preaching. It's unbelief. Are you hearing that? From unbelief there is doubt. Doubt is found on Christians. Doubt is found on Christians. Doubt is found on Christians. Inside the hearts of Christians. On top there, there is faith. So today I decided to teach you that you can overcome your doubt. You can overcome your doubt. So that you enter the top level of faith. Because if you carry on doubting, you will go back to unbelief. And you end up going to the lowest part of the people who don't believe God. Wawiela siyemong sa fasi 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 sabato abasa dumeling sibi chang bato ba uboi fa ba uchaba. How many of you are hearing me? Kiba ba kai ba bantu. If you are hearing me this year, God will remove doubt. 
And open your spiritual eyes to see where ah, you are going. Because many of you want to go somewhere. But you don't know if you can reach there. I don't know if you are hearing me. Just as I don't have doubt. I doubt my doubt. It is time now that you doubt your doubt. I doubt my doubt. From, from today when you live here. You must set up some standards. Because there is somewhere where God wants to take you. If we carry on focusing. On what we can see in the natural. Way, we can miss the blessing. And the vision that God wants to give us. And we find that we are falling on a level. Of a destiny that we don't want in life. There are some destinies that we don't want in life. 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 And doubt disappears. We begin to see the way God wants us to see. Let's read the scriptures. Let's read the scriptures. Uh, Genesis 15. Genesis 15. Let's read from verse 1. Read to verse 1. Verse 1. Yes. After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision, saying, Do not be afraid, Abram. I am your shield, your reward for obedience shall be very great. Abram said, Lord God, what reward will you give me since I am living this world childless? And he who will be the owner of, or, and heir of my house is this servant Eliezer from Damascus. And Abraham continued, since you have given no child to me, one, a servant, born in my house is my heir. Then behold, the word of the Lord came to him, saying, This man, Eliezer, will not be your heir, but he who shall come from your own body shall be your heir. And the Lord brought Abraham outside his tent into the night and said, Look now towards the heavens and count the stars if you are able to count them. Then he said to him, So numerous shall your descendants be. Then Abraham believed in, affirmed, trusted in, relied on, remained steadfast, steadfast to the Lord and he continued, meaning credited it to him as righteousness, doing right in regard to God and men. And he said to him, I am the same Lord who brought you out of Ur of the Chaldeans to give you this land as, as an inheritance. But Abram said, Lord God, by what proof Will I know that I will inherit it? So God said to him, Bring me a three year old Haifa. Stop there. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this word. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's go back to what we are talking about. Because today we want to doubt our doubts. We want to be people of faith. Where we speak what God has promised. And see the promises coming to pass. God came to Abraham. Abraham. I'm everything for you. Me, I protect you. 
Now Abraham began to look around. What is he protecting? Abraham, level of house, can you move to Moses? Let's go and Anamu. Whatever is protecting soon will be taken by a person who's not my. Jilo cha di sere le changi se khala di to jiwa ke motro mongwe ya sing madiak. I go around here. Kitsa maya tsa maya mo. Li Elias. Who is not even my son? Ya sing roaka. In other words, already this man Abraham. Ora reka mancha ngo muna wa Abraham. Was given up. Na se cha ini eji na se cha la te. I can see you bless me. Awa madi muki ya bona uchufadi. Mara una lindo mneki thoka upalo mpayo na. And God promised no. Madi ma tsepi sar awa. I'm still the same God. Kisali na ye la madi. I will give you a son. Kito ufamora. From your loins. Oh, jo madi nga how. The son will come. Moro tota. From yourself. Oh, jo wena. Someone. And the Bible says he believed God. Bible re Abraham do me la mudi. Yeah, I want to tell you this. E mo ki yoko le bucha tabashi. Kinyo kore lena ha ne bu mo kore lena. I'm not saying God made a mistake. A kire mudi mo ba di le pos. But the capability of Abraham. Mara kabu kone ba Abraham. To believe all the blessings were not enough. Ore adu mele di chufa to cheka ufela na usali kan. If you can see the Bible says. Kara au kali bela ire Bible. After he believed God. Kamara wa adu mele mudi. That God will give him a son. Ore mudi muto ata mo famu ra. God say also I will give you a land. Mudi mo are kito ufali le fast. I will also give you a land. Kito ufali le fast. He says. No, if you give me a land, no, no, I will come pale first. No, no, just show me a proof. Uko ubonchengsi kasa ubonchoro kanid. You could see that believing of him. Ria kona bona rudu melagai. Was not so much enough. Ne usali kana. Doubts were still inside there. Uka makana uliro na kana mo. Don't take doubt as the worst thing. Oseka chia uka makali ndo ukote mbi. Doubt is the element of faith. Kauri na na uka makai inobantu mwa wisa tumelo. Let me say, doubt is the element of belief. Oa uka makaki elementi ya kutume. Because the moment when you fail, kare kana kuto mangu palelo. To believe, kutume. Doubt comes. Uka makawi afsaena. So now God seems to be like was giving him too much promises. Ntoche dinga to ba di profit toche dinchi. Promises. The tepi so cheding at that he could not handle. Chen na sa honi go di swara. Now he began to say, "Okay, Lord, give me a sign. If you will give me a land." Ah, uto mpasi sa obatulo. And God says, "Okay, do this." You know that I have given you also the land. Okay, do this. Mudi mara ona he di la se. You know that I have given you also the land. But I'm still have promises. Kisana li di tepi so. That I want to give you. Se kinyaka ngo di fa wena. I knew the moment when Abraham began to search for a sign. I understood that he will be challenged. If we read Genesis 16, Genesis 16, very close there, we found the Bible talks about. The Bible says he appear again. Just read from verse one. 16, verse twelve, verse one. Yes. Here now, Sarah, Abraham's wife, had not born him any children, and she had an Egyptian maid whose name was Hagar. So Sarah said to Abraham, "See here, the Lord has prevented me from bearing children. I am asking you to go into the bed of my maid, so that she may bear you a child." Perhaps I will obtain children by her. And Abraham listened to Sarah and did as she said. After Abraham had lived in the land of Canaan ten years, Abraham's wife Sarah took Hagar, the Egyptian maid, and gave him to her, and gave her to her husband Abraham to be his second wife. He went in. To the bed of Hagar, and she conceived. And when she re re realized that she had conceived, she looked with contemptment on her mistress, regarding Sarah as insignificant because of her infertility. Then Sarah said to Abraham, "May the responsibility for the wrong done to me." By the arrogant behavior of Hagar, be upon you. I gave my maid into your arms, 
And when she realized that she had conceived, I was despised and looked on with disrespect. Okay, stop, stop there. Remember, he believed God. It was counted to him what? Righteousness. God went forward to say, let me give him another promise. The land you are in, he will inherit it. He said, I know. And I'll give me a proof. I know. Look here. The Bible says where we are reading. Ten years goes by. In other words, they were expecting a child within those years. But now, ten years passes by. When the 10 years passes by, the wife calls Abraham. Now you can see, the one who promised you is failing to do what he said. You can see he has denied to give me a child. So now I'm giving instructions. This man was told that the child will be from his loins. But now you have to get a child which is not be a perfect. Not from his wife, but from a servant. He says, let's bring a servant. A servant will give you a child. Abraham was listening. He was not happy, but he was listening. But he looked also at his years. Ten years goes by. Listen to this. We are failing to overcome whatever that comes our way. Because we are focusing on time. Time brings doubts. When we normally look at the time, how far I have been believing God. How long I have been believing God on this. Look, if God is with me, how can he spend five years not honoring me in my business? If God is with me, how can he prosper my enemies and I'm still longing on his promises? The Bible says it was his wife went to encourage him. And he believed he had a son who brought a problem. Today I want to tell you something that I'm sure you have not seen there. Anything that comes in with sin, anything which is not of a promise, it brings problems. It really brings problems. After the son was born, the problem came. The problem, the son that was expected, the mother of the son, was saying, "Is my son? You, you must give, give birth to your own." If you try to rely on others to give you something, they will tell you in your face, you are driving my car. You are wearing my suit. You must rather wait for God to honor you. I don't know if you are hearing me. You need to have faith and you cancel doubt. Doubt will make you to be proud of what is not yours. You will have results that are owned by other people. It is time now that you become so strong with canceling all the doubts until God honors you. I can understand the way that you get praises for the things that I have never waited for. Things that I have never worked for. Things that come so simple being given. It's time for us. Let's tell us the message. It's better in wait. Even if you don't get what you're getting. By time, don't compare yourself with others. Take your time. Carry on. Crushing the doubt. Carry on. Crushing the doubt. Crushing the doubt. Crushing the doubt. By standing on faith. And God is going to honor you. Let's, let's read Genesis 18. I, I want to teach you something, but I believe God is going to help us. When I'm teaching you something, God Amen. will teach me something. Genesis 18, can we read from verse 1 now? Genesis 18. Uh -huh. 
Here and now the Lord appeared to Abraham by the terebinth. Listen to this. God was always visiting. The same way he's visiting us by the words. When you open the Bible, the Bible says so. God is still saying the same. God is still saying the same. So by that time, he was visiting, there was no preacher. There was no preacher on that time. Let's hear. Here now, the Lord appeared to Abraham by the terebinth trees uh, uh, of Mamre yes. in Hebron. While he was sitting at the tent door yes. in the heat of the day. Yes. When he raised his eyes and looked up, Behold, three men were standing a little distance from him. When he saw them, he ran from the tent door to meet them and bowed down with his face to the ground. And Abram said, My Lord, if now I have found favor in your sight, please do not pass by your servant without stopping to visit. Please let a little water be brought by one of my servants, and you may wash your feet and recline and rest comfortably under the tree. And I will bring a piece of bread and of refresh and sustain you. After that, you may go on since you have come to your servant. And they replied, do as you have said. So Abraham hurried into the tent and Sarah and said to Sarah, and said, quickly, get ready three measurement of fine meal. Knead it and bake cakes. Abraham also ran to the hired and, hired and brought a calf, tender and choice and choice. And he gave it to the servant, to butcher, and he hurried to prepare it. Then he took cares of milk and calf which he has prepared and set it before the men. And he stood beside them under the tree while they ate. Then they said to him, where is Sarah your wife? He said, there in the tent. He said, I will surely return to you at this time next year. And behold, Sarah, your wife, will have a son. And Sarah was listening at the tent door, which was behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were old, meaning well advanced in years. She was past the age of childbearing. So Sarah laughed to herself when she heard the Lord's words, saying, after I have become old, Shall I have pleasure and delight my Lord? I am to, in my Lord, my husband, being also old. And the Lord asked Abraham, why did Sarah laugh to herself saying, Shall I really give birth to a child when I am so old? Is anything too difficult or too wonderful for the Lord? Stop there, Mama. Uh, in fact... I was supposed to come here and read the Bible for you. But I want to explain something to you. This is a very serious issue. Abraham lost faith. Are you hearing that? Amen. The worst has happened. The child was born. In the house. Now, when they appear again, they were coming to destroy doubt. When, 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 when the angels came there, when God came to him, they were there to destroy doubt. Abraham back to faith. Back to faith. That is the reason why Sarah was asked, why you did laugh. Why you say 
She says I was not laughing. She was questioned so that she she must understand that laughing it means she has a self-doubt. God is still the same one who who has promised. promised. You need to stand on what was said. God was saying that you, for you to laugh it means you are doubting God. Nothing Nothing is too difficult for the Lord. Why you did laugh? Why you say it? You laughed. He says, no, I didn't laugh. How I get say? There, God was cancelling that. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God was cancelling that. Listen, many times God came to fight your doubt and try to emphasize hey, you can still make it. Hey, you can still make it. You cannot sit down and look at the years going by and think that God will work by the years. Hey, you can still make it. 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 The Bible says they came back by the Bible. And try to speak something. I want to show you something. When this man, when they were gone, after he has experienced the downfall, Abraham went back to faith. When he went back to faith, he could sense the visitation. That this visitation can bring me a blessing. When they came, the Bible says the old man ran to them and he went there to bow. Think about the old man. Hurry. Everything was so fast. You can see Abraham here. He was no longer having doubt to him. To show that he had faith. He went back and said, Sarah, he hurried. I was just looking at this. Was I said, Abraham was so hurrying, 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 to show that he was not thinking. Because a person who would have doubt always think sit down to plan and and choose from many things. things. But he who has faith knows what to do. I don't know if you are hearing me. So, now Abraham stood up. He went back. Told the servants, do it first. We hurry. We have visitors here and they are not normal. And the Bible says when they saw they hurry, hurry here. Now they gave a promise again. That next year, this time, when we come back, you'll be having a son. But the daughter was still there. She still laughed. And now they say, why she laughed? It is time now that when you hear the word of God upon your life, you don't accept doubt. You stand up and do what the word of God says. We have got Christians who are here. Your actions tell us if truly you are doubting or not. How you come to church? How you pray? 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 How you come to church? But I, I was telling myself that I would never pray in the house. Because I understood that there is something. Everything face opposition. The moment when I feel like I'm praying in the room, and I'm, I'm like it's like the sleep is coming. I said, no, let me go outside. I don't know if you're hearing me. I was acting so fast to cancel something that would affect my faith. Joseph did the same. When he see this woman was coming so close, he ran away and left the cloth. Because he understood his destiny. He does not need 
doubt in his life. Because sin brings doubt. Sin cancels. The, the, the confidence you have. And from there, doubt results. It's time today that we need to cancel doubt. Whatever God tells us, we do it first. If you are hearing me say amen, it is a doubt that has delayed you, your destiny. This is the time that you remove it from your way. And the God of mercy will see you through. When you want to do something, when doubt creeps in, understand that there is something there. Where, where you are doubting, you want to do what kind of you business? business? And doubt comes. And there, there is feature. something fishy. I, I just want to prophesy something. Can you prophesy? This year, you will overcome that doubt. And a breakthrough will come and your breakthrough way. It if you are hearing me shout, hallelujah. hallelujah. When we read John 20, from verse 24, we normally speak about Thomas. Listen. We normally speak about Thomas. As a man who doubted. But I want to tell you why he doubted. Even us we were supposed to be doubting Jesus. We are still doubting Jesus. We are supposed to be doubting Jesus. We are supposed to be doubting Jesus. The disciple says we have seen him. We have seen the ha, Lord. Rimon, and the Bible says he was not there na, when wo, he appeared there. Na, when, Thomas was not there Thomas na, when, when Jesus, our ha, Lord, Jesus, appeared na. to the disciples. Na, now, when he came back, they said, we have seen him. Na, re, 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 bo, he was here. Na, and the man says, no, if I can take my right. hand and put it on his head, where there is a wound, I won't believe you. Because he had doubt, he saw what happened. Today, I just want you to change. Begin to see beyond what has happened. Began to see Hallelujah. beyond what Thomas has happened. Thomas, Thomas saw what happened. And when he was told Jesus is alive, ah, he said, no, so I saw what happened. Sometimes we saw how we grew up. It really affects us when we are growing up. Even when we are told that we can Let be this, we begin to see. have doubts because we, we saw our experiences have really affected us. Affected us. I'm here to tell you that out of all the experiences you went through, God will cancel them and give you a different insight. You will begin to see and have faith to see beyond the challenge you If you are hearing me shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I'm here to tell you that there are some people who have experienced the worst. You are about to experience the best. God is about to lift you up. He's about to raise you up. If you are hearing me shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I'm seeing beyond the challenge you went through. Stand with me today because you are going to forget the situation you went through. I'm about to forget what I went through. The Lord has allowed me to so that when he visited you, it will be a miracle. It will be a blessing. It will be a victory. It is time today to see beyond the challenge you went through. Check somebody says, hey, I'm beginning to feel something. The promises of God are true. They are beyond the challenge I went through. Look at somebody and say, hey, I'm beginning to feel something. Look at somebody and say, hey, I'm beginning to feel something. 
you are still doubting Thomas, I will celebrate Thomas. Thomas. God is here for you today. See beyond what you have experienced. See beyond what you have experienced. See beyond what you have experienced. There are some people I want to prophesy to The word of prophecy is coming to you. From this year, you will forget. It will forget what happened to 2022. See beyond. See beyond. My challenge. See beyond. My situation. I see beyond my trouble. I see beyond my experience. I want to tell someone here. In your family. See yourself as the head. As you see yourself as the head. Do you doubt that? Do you doubt that? Don't believe Stakaze. Don't believe what they believe in. I see victory. I see success. I see prosperity. I see you performing above your brothers and sisters. If you are hearing me shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So let's go back to the scriptures. I just want us to read scriptures. Okay, look at this one. John 6. Uh, John 6. Yes. From verse 1. John 6. You can read to 9. Huh? I want to tell you what is happening. There was a time where Jesus was followed wherever he goes. Because by the time of Jesus, there was no church. So now, he normally took people to a remote place. So he went to them, took them in Galilee, very close to Tiberias Sea. When he was there, he spent with them days. But the third day, he decided to say, it's better I send them out. Yes. These people can stay with me here. I mean, they will end up dying with the hangai. So now, when he look at that, he realized that even sending them away will be a problem. They can faint on the road. So he called people there. Your disciples. These people are hungry. We need to feed them. You know, Philip answered Philip on the natural according to quadratic equation. Hey, oh, yeah, equation. This won't work. Even if we apply equation, if we take the small food of a child, because that is the only small food we have here, how can we feed all this? If we look at what we know, if we look at what we have been taught, it is impossible to feed these people. And Jesus said, allow everybody to see. He took the small food and give thanks to God. The Bible says when he was speaking with Philip, he was testing him on what he, where else he knows what he will do. Because he was already saying, he will feed them. But Philip says, hey, how can Philip we feed them? Uh -oh, Even uh -oh. if we can go to the shop, we need a lot of money to satisfy uh -oh. this people. But Jesus was saying, I know what I will do. Because they are looking at the nature. I don't know if you are hearing me. Listen, Jesus knows what to do. When you are looking at the supply, it cannot take you for five years. It cannot take you for three years. But he knows what to do. Stop doubting. Something is coming your way. It just takes small food. And give 
give thanks and the supply satisfy everyone. It is a time now that we need to believe Jesus that he can supply. I see a supply that will never fail. I see a supply that will never fall. Crush your doubt. Crush your doubt. Just so say, crush your doubt. Are you not expecting something? I see a supply here. I see a supply here. Do you doubt that? I see a cabin. I see a house. I see money. What are you doubting? Okay, let me give you other scripture. Why are you doubting you people? Why are you doubting? Mark 11:23 we know. Mark 11:23 we have Whoever says without doubt, this mountain, and speak that without doubt. Whoever said to this mountain, go shoot. Thrown into the sea. And does not doubt where. And the Bible says. He will, he will have whatever he Hallelujah. So doubt is found in your heart. But whoever speaks something with doubt in his heart, he will have whatever he says. He will have Whatever he says. Money is not in the bank. Money is in your ways. Prosperity is in your ways. You will have whatever you say. A man cannot be blessed by what he has never said. Tell me about a man cannot be blessed by whatever he has never said. Can, 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 when you are sitting down alone, begin to talk what you want to see. Talk what you want to see. Talk what you want to see. I found that whatever you say, you can have it. I don't know if you're hearing. I said, whatever you say, can you just tell someone, start, start now, what is that what you want to say? The answer is in your ways. Can you tell someone, what is that what you want to say? Can you tell someone, what is that what you want to say? Can you tell someone, what is that what you when I visit my mom, I tell her, Mama, there's something that I don't like there, which Mama loves a lot. Is raw. The Mama was just muroho. Mama, utava ni muroho. I grew up eating muroho. Eki kundele kijja muroho. Kau sawo nyaka. This muroho. Muroho. I know the smell of it. Kizi wale mungo kisa tahul. When I'm still at the distance. Kisa le kuhule na sote kizi wale. Na si icon. Today, and I didn't know that. Next time. It was someone's faith. Ne ili tu melo yam tumu. It was my parents' faith. Ne ili tu melo yaba chadi ba. I'm sure I understand that. Kadumela like kushish. You grew up eating raw. You still want to eat it. Oh, I'm too young raw. So I'm not going This is the time now that you must eat whatever you say. You will eat what you say. How many of you want to say something today that you say? Kwa mama 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 there's a secret I want to tell you. Your God loves you so much. And he doesn't want you to have small things. The reasons why you are not receiving is because you are speaking small. Small things. 
From today, you must speak big things. The Bible says, open your mouth wide. How do you open your mouth wide? And you still small, speak small, small things. things. I want to challenge you this year. Cancel your doubts. Even when you are seeing a problem, tell yourself, no, I've seen this problem. But the answer is coming. I've seen this challenge. But there is something that is coming. Let me prophesy someone. There is victory that is coming this way. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I said receive that victory in the It's time now that people must know you are saving the living Just read the scriptures. If you still have doubt, it is your problem. Doubt is a very boring thing. Amen. Look at this Mark 9. Verse 24. Only there. Mark 9 verse 24. <coughs> Mark 9 verse 24. It says, immediately the father of the boy cried out with a desperate, piercing cry, saying, I do believe, help me overcome my unbelief. Look here, this man was already moved from doubt went to be unbeliever and filled now with fear. I want my son to be healed. But it was doubt that was hindering him. Doubt can hinder your blessing. No, there's no witch who can stop you. I just want to give you an example. You people, you don't know. If you hear any sound in the house of your house, you hear go, 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 go. Go out very quick, you won't find anything. There's no witch who can visit who can visit you a Christian? Why always when you hear sounds? Why would you allow Tommy do more? You don't think about angels visiting. Why would you say go 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 go? How do you know you shut down each thing? Yeah, yeah. Why would you visit him? I'm visiting him now. Stay here. Why you don't think about angels visiting? Why would you say no? No, we're going to visit him. Oh my God. You hear a scream, hey! Uta, yay! What's happening outside? Just say, because you're a child, say amen. amen. We are visited. Bye. Stand up now, begin to speak in tongues. No one can come to your yard. Because you don't have doubt, you are protected. 10,000 will fall there. No harm will come to your house. You must believe the scripture. I heard a sound yesterday. I, when I was praying, I went out very quick to check. I want to see who's there. I said, I'm sure you are here. I want to speak with you. But the moment where you hear a sound, you are failing to talk. You are beginning to... Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. It's time to stand your ground. Do you know that the reasons why you don't have visitation from above is fear. You have doubt. You don't think you can see the angel. Have expectation. Have expectation. Expect that the angel can have visitation. Okay, sir. To let you fail. So what is happening? No, your father said this. Oh, oh, I, oh thank you for oh, the Lord. Papa. But always you are thinking a wish will come and say. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, so la la la. 
We are not yet asleep. We want to wake ourselves. So it's time now you have to expect the same way that when you reach at your work, you hear, you know they are opposers. But you go there with faith. Say, when I reach there, I'm sure they will promote me to me. I feel promotion here. Yeah, you're entering, I feel promotion here. I told you last time, when you people are working, you are just minimizing yourself. I told you, I I believe me, I'm telling you. If I was working, I will do that. I will just say, oh, this man is a manager. Come, come here. 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 I'm looking under you, but don't give me problems because you will die. I, I kill people. I mean, yeah, the moment when you are grounded, you are, you are speaking. You, you know Elijah? Elijah says, if you say I'm a man of God, let fire fall on top of you. And they burn 50 people, 50 soldiers. You, you don't know your God. You are, you are touching your God. You are praying for a bread. Whereas you are supposed to pray for bacon. It is time now to stand your ground. As a child of God. I say, no, 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 you can't do that too. I'm a child of God. I don't have doubt. I believe in my God. Cancel your doubts. It's making you to feel like you cannot reach there. Doubt blocks you. It makes you to look at It is time now that you speak what you say. I mean, you say what you see. That's what I want to say. You say what you see. Let it happen to you this year. God bless you. Congratulations.